Shabbat Shalom, Parashat Emor. This weekly portion starts with one of the most intriguing obligations that the priests, the Kohanim, have had then and still have till this day. Kohanim, the priests, don't come near death. There is a funeral, there is a graveyard, there's a tombstone, don't come near, don't get exposed to death. Only if it's one of your seven relatives, then you can come. Seven relatives, father, mother, brother, sister, son, daughter, and the wife. These are the relatives and nothing more and nothing less. Don't come near death. This week, today actually, you might hear on the soundtrack a bit of noises, some music. It's because tonight is Yom HaTzmaut, Independence Day. I'm filming this Monday night. Usually I film towards the weekend, but this is Monday night and I'm filming it because tomorrow is the day of the Independence Day. And then on Wednesday night, I'm traveling to the US. And actually before that, I'm also going to the cemetery because this Wednesday marks the one year of my father's passing. And today, Independence Day is only after the Memorial Day. And the issue of death comes in close to me this week with the Memorial in the national perspective of death with all the soldiers. Today I went to the graveyard of a friend of mine, a daughter that was killed. And on Wednesday, I'm going to go to another cemetery to visit my father. What is the problem then? Then the high priests are going to go and participate in those kind of events. It's important to pay tribute, to respect, to honor, to go and see and maybe comfort the pe people in need. Why the priests, why the Kohanim are not allowed to do it? Two main opinions. The one opinion talks about holiness. Of course, we know that the priests, the Kohanim are dealing with holiness. They're working the temple. So one of the basic explanation is the fact that you need to be aware that when you're focused on holiness and you're focusing in those things that are above mankind, don't get into the minor places in life. It's a less optimistic place. You need to be uplifted. You need to be there in the events. Don't work with what's bad, what's negative. This is a simple explanation that talks the fact that death is the lower parts of life. Rav Kook on the other side says the complete opposite. He says this opposite, I think, because of the reason that we see that in the end of the day, when it's your relatives, you're supposed to go and visit. If death is not okay, then all deaths are not okay. So why the priest and the Kohanim are allowed to go to the family? Rav Kook's explanation is a completely different one uh, it's a it's a different perspective of death altogether. Of course, explains that the problem is the fact that we don't comprehend what is death. And the Kohanim, the priests, when they come and educate us, they are there to give us and show us example. And what they need to show us is that we didn't really understand what is death. Because death, in that sense, is not the fact that you lost somebody on a personal level. It's hard, it's difficult. Me, this here, every person who ever lost somebody knows the challenging part. But the Kohanim are there to remind us something. This person is not gone. There is a spiritual world. There's the next world. There's the heaven. There's a place that this soul is going to be. It's not that he's lost forever. In many ways, this person was just upgraded. It's hard to say. When somebody is mourning, when somebody is missing his loved one, it's hard to tell him, oh, he's in a better place. But it's true for the soul, for the person who just died, he is in a more complete place. He is in a more spiritual place. He is close to God, if we wish to say. Therefore, the Kohanim are there to remind us this. 
what do you see with your eyes this end this end of the road for him he's buried in the ground and you think that's the end of everything the kohanim are going to share and tell you this is not the end there is more you cannot see it you're not exposed to it you tend to forget and you tend to just ignore the fact that they are in the better spiritual place because you're thinking about yourself therefore the kohanim are there to show us and prove us by example don't get confused this death is not what you see i think to connect it to what we are experiencing experiencing this day in the memorial day is the fact that when we go and we help support the families and we go to those graveyards of all the heroes we understand that those specific people that gave their life in securing the land of Israel and the people of Israel, surely they're in the highest place that you can be, your soul can be. Can we even imagine where they're standing next to Rabbi Akiva and all the major people that we only know that gave their life in the merit of continuing the big and long story of the Jewish people? So when we're exposed to death, especially this week, especially in this parasha, we're trying to remember this. It's the story that connects between the lines of something that is pure and unpure, and I've tried to avoid and learn from the Kohanim. What you see with your eyes, it's not the whole story. Levels and levels of spiritual growth, of world that we cannot see, they are here. They're here and they shout to our mouth by the Kohanim. Don't get lost in what you see. Life only starts here. When you think that death is the end, of course comes and say, it's actually extra life. You're not bound to the physical materialistic world. You're not bound to the limitations. You're a spirit floating in a higher world. May those words are going to be in the memory and the merit of all the lost soldiers that gave their life defending this land and these people.